What's your style? Alien Hemorrhoid Cream is a title that missed the radar for me. Initially a flash game developed by Tom Fulp for the site Newgrounds, receiving high volumes of players flocking to the browser to play this, naturally this game saw several console ports. From Xbox to even iOS, receiving the most universal acclaim I'm happy to say was the GBA port. The story is of an alien who crash lands to earth and just wants to get back home but there's always some douchebag officials in the way and our game begins. This is an action run and gun shooter playing almost identical to Metal Slug. We could fire in four directions with no diagonal shooting, pick up weapons that aren't interchangeable with limited ammo. We get access to shotguns, rocket launchers and other guns similar to Metal Slug but with an alien twist. We also get grenades we can throw at enemies. Thankfully the UI on screen indicates what's left over. Random citizens in the background replenish our supplies when we're nearby and when we get close to enemies we do an automated melee attack. Going beyond the blueprint of Metal Slug, holding the fire button would unleash a powerful charge shot similar to Mega Man. Pressing the L button we could slide across the floor which is great if you want to quickly evade oncoming attacks. Pressing down and L our character was submerged below the ground, although you can't be submerged too long or else you'll die. I thought this animation was a neat touch and in some stages when you submerge underground a monster would eat you. The small attention to details are nifty, even down to the silly graffiti in the background. You might have noticed but this game is surprisingly bloody, bullets slice enemies in two, enemies die with blood gushing out their necks, you could even bite off enemies heads. Like Metal Slug we could control vehicles such as tanks, cars, in particular I enjoyed controlling this big monster, it makes you feel like a badass, completely negating any challenges. The final end game boss offered a good challenge, most of the other bosses weren't too memorable apart from this ginormous goo. With a total of 12 stages you could easily beat this game within 1 or 2 hours, although should you want a challenge you could increase the difficulty. Unfortunately the only thing this really changes is the number of lives you start out with. What I didn't like about this game. Through playing the game you could unlock three mini games, there is chicken licking where you have to hit a chicken using a bat, missile master where you avoid obstacles to navigate your missile. Honestly these two mini games felt like an afterthought implementation as they are lazy ideas. The third mini game, Chipper, is a reused mechanic from a previous stage and once you defeat the boss, Thingy, nothing happens, you simply return to the main menu. In between the run and gun shenanigans thrown in are some flight stages. Controlling similar to asteroids we fly around looking for ship upgrades. Having little sense of direction we eventually come across a boss. Luckily we could stay in one spot and just spam the fire button. I didn't enjoy this section, the controls felt clunky. Sure the bonus mini stages and flying sections were crappy but I would consider them as additional content, the core mechanics of the game is solid. Fine run and gun shooting, if you're a fan of Metal Slug there is a high chance you'll enjoy this game. Anyways guys as always it's been a pleasure.